Hello everyone, welcome to my workshop. It's me, Pretzel Cosplay, and today I want to share a new material with you. It's the new Wobla. It's really cool. It's called Wobla's Crystal Art, and it's actually like Wobla's Deco Art, but then translucent. And I already made a project with it. It's this rune on my skirt for my demon hunter and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make this colored rune with crystal art so if you want to see how you can use this new material from Wobla and keep watching this video if you want to learn more about making some awesome details with Wobla then make sure to check out my book you can get it as an ebook or as a printed version like this one. Thank you very much for supporting my work. So this is how the wall blast crystal art looks like. It looks really much like deco art, so it's little pearls, but this stuff is translucent, so it's see-through. Let's start with it. First I get my pattern and I put it under my silicone net. This protects my table for the heat of the heat gun. Then I put some pearls in a silicone baking cup. I used it, this cup so the pearls won't fly everywhere when I use the heat gun. Then I heat up the pearls and they need to be around 110 degrees celsius which is really hot. That is why I recommend wearing gloves. I use these gloves that don't stick to the wall black. They have a rubber coating on them. Be sure to use gloves that have a rubber coating and not a plastic coating because that will stick to the wall black. Then I just sculpt the wall black and keep heating it again until it's really one uh, smooth surface. So it looks like this when it's ready to sculpt. As you can see this material is a little bit see-through and also a little bit milky. I want some color in it so I use some acrylic paint. I use a little bit of it and dab it onto the wobla. Then I cover it in the wobla and I'm going to mix it into the material. To do that I will stretch it out and also uh, twist it around until the color is mixed enough. You can mix it longer or shorter depending on how you want the color to look like. You don't have to use color for this material, you can also use it just white. But I want a green shape, so that's why I use the acrylic paint. To mix the color even more, you can also tear it apart and put it back together and tear it apart again. That way you really mix the color. The color is now how I want it to be. Then I need to heat up the material again, so I can sculpt with it. For the sculpting part I like to use my bare hands, cause then I have more control over the shape. You still have to be very careful, because the material is still hot. I just sculpt the shape and use my pattern as a guide. So this is how it looks like when it's sculpted. Looks cool, right? I also sculpt the rest of the shape, heat it up and put it together. I use my fingers to get the shape how I want it. To 
to do some last fine tuning, I also use a wooden clay modeling tool. But this is fully optional, you can also just sculpt it uh, by hand. I really like the wet look of this material. And it stays flexible. This is when it's cooled down, so that's really nice. I want it on my skirt for my demon hunter. So I place it where I want it and trace the shape with a pencil. Then I'm using some contact glue to glue it on the skirt. If you use contact glue, you need to glue both parts. So I put some glue on the wobbla part and I use a brush for it, but you can also use a spatula. And I also put glue on the fabric part. And in this case, the fabric is a fake suede. But you can also use other fabrics. I only put the glue where I drew the shape. Then I need to wait until it's uh, not wet anymore. And I can check this by feeling the glue. And if it's not sticky anymore, it's ready to glue. Then I put the two pieces together and it's really important to find the right spot because once they are glued together, you can't get them apart anymore. And then just stick them on with your fingers and use some pressure. And then it's glued down and ready. I really love the result. And it's really nice that this material stays flexible, because then it's really good to use on fabric. It's done! Yay! Looks so cool! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from it. And if you want to try the crystal art for yourself, then be sure to check the description, because there I will write where you can buy it. Bye-bye!